Last night, I stopped just short of what I believe, I believe I'm in Tacoma Pass right now. And this is a sign for Baker Snoqualmie National Forest. Um, I'm fairly certain, this is uh, Forestry Service 52. And I was really concerned that I wasn't gonna get out of the snow, but um, it was an elevation thing and I came down off that ridge, which was really heavy in snow and made it here. But I'm still a little concerned because um, I'm gonna have to go up again a few more times and I still got nice edge. So I'm a little worried about that, but I survived the night. It wasn't, it wasn't fun, but I slept about, you know, six or seven hours, wake up. So coming out of Tacoma, the trail is looking like this. Uh, I think it came up about a thousand feet. I think I rode down there. Something's going up here. So, um, I've been hiking for, oh, it's still, it starts snowing again. And you can see the sun is still out over here. I gotta get moving, because I think it's gonna, the weather's coming in from over here. But, um, I hadn't really seen the sun in like a week. And I just did just now through the trees. It came into the trees. And it was like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I, you can't explain what it's like to be out here for a while. And I, even in Snoqualmie Pass, it was pouring rain every day I was there. Um, to be away from the sun and then to see it again. And it's just a, it's an incredibly moving thing. So, you know, if you hike in, the, in, the, in, the, in Washington in the rainy season, in the snow, and you suffer... You will have an incredible experience when you finally do see the sun again, if you don't freeze to death. <laughs> so I came around a bend, and the sun is out. <laughs> it was like turning a corner from... I had snow up to about here. I, I My battery, I'm not my battery, my memory card maxed out. So... I um, waited, I was just, I couldn't, I didn't want to stop up there, but I'm now, I think like seven miles from Ulrich, and it's just really beautiful up here. There's some, been some birds calling, I heard some grouse, some forest, you can kind of hear them, right? no, those are, those are ravens, there were some grouse, they can't hear them now, but they were, um, I made a little bit of a ruckus getting my, my, my card out. But anyway, so I saw my first footprints <laughs> since I left Snoqualmie Pass. Somebody was up here. Looks like they came to a road, walked up the trail 20 feet, walked back to the road, went to the other side of the road, and walked, you know, like 100 yards. It's amazingly beautiful terrain. So I think I'm about two miles from Jeff Grubb. So four o'clock. I'm back into the the deep snow here. Let's see what we got. This is what most of the day was like. Um, and that's why seeing the sun was such a big deal. But you can see the light here is so unusual. It's just this haze. But at different times it's had different colors. I may even just losing my mind. But it really is beautiful in a horrible way. <laughs> so, so I got a lot of I can't I'm sure with water here on the lens, but this is the um, false whoop. <laughs> it's rather snowy and slippery right here. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was my Cartman voice. Um, so in 1988, a fire started in Windy Gap on the Pacific Coast Trail by loggers, well, aka also known as hikers. By 8588, the fire was under control by the Forestry Service and Washington State Correctional Crews. Ooh, dude. The cons out to the firefighting. Crews, total burn 3,000 acres, sad. So this is, I guess, the BSA, Troop 422. This is the Eagle Project. So this was an epic fight, fighting on fire. I don't think we have any danger of forest fires today. The only dangers today are that, like, I just fell down when that happened. And I couldn't get back up, or I slowed down. Being a 